Good day everyone and welcome back to my channel. Miley Cyrus has revealed there was too much conflict in her marriage to ex Liam Hemsworth but admitted she still loves him very, very much. During a candid interview with Howard Stern on Wednesday, the singer said there was too much conflict. When I come home, I want to be anchored by someone. I don't want to go off on a drama or fighting. Miley 28 and Liam 30 were married in an intimate ceremony in December 2018, before splitting only months later in August 2019. She revealed that she and the Aussie actor never planned on getting married after a 10-year on-off relationship, but said, we got together since 16, our house burned down in November 2018. We had been like, engaged. I don't know if we really ever thought we were actually going to get married. But when we lost our house in Malibu, which if you listen to my voice, pre and pulse fire, they're very different. So that trauma really affected my voice. She said, I was actually in South Africa, so I couldn't come home and like my animals were tied to a post at the beach. I lost everything. I had Polaroids of Elvis, like front roll, passed on from. I, I got a couple of grandmas to give me these Elvis Polaroids. I always became friends with my friend's grandmas so I could get the goods from the artists I loved. I had so much and it was all gone. Every song I'd ever written was in that house. Every photograph of me that my parents had given to me, all my scripts, I lost everything. And so in trying to put that back together, instead of going, oh, nature kind of did something I couldn't do for myself, it forced me to let go. I ran toward the fire. Millie told Stern, which is not abnormal. A lot of animals do this and end up dying, like deers run into the forest. You're attracted to that heat, and me being an intense person and not wanting to sit with it and not wanting to go, you know, what could be purposeful about this? I just clung on to what I had left of that house, which was me and him. But the We Can't Stop singer insisted she will always love Liam, saying, I, and I really do, I really do love him very, very, very much, and still do, always will. In August 2019, Marley's rep told People magazine, Liam and Marley have agreed to separate at this time. Ever evolving, changing as partners and individuals, they have decided this is what's best while they both focus on themselves and careers. Marley also spoke about her relationship with the Isn't It Romantic actor on the Call Her Daddy podcast in August. She said that when they finally decided to split for good, it felt like a death. I had a very public, very big upbreak that was over a 10-year span for a relationship. It's like a death when you lose a love that is deep. It feels like a death, she confessed. She added, honestly, sometimes death even feels easier because with a breakup, the person is still walking on the earth. Since their split, Liam has been in a relationship with Australian model Gabriella Brooks, who he began dating in December last year. Meanwhile, Marley enjoyed a whirlwind relationship with Brodie Jenner's ex-wife, Caitlin Carter. But they split in September 2019. After just a month, Marley then began dating Australian singer Cody Simpson in October 2019, before splitting in August this year.